She's been a culinary lecturer for over a decade at the Cape Town Hotel School, which is part of CPUT. She is also the co-owner of a very popular pre-packed gourmet brand called My Hungry Husband. Please help me welcome ladies and gentlemen, Ilham and her husband, Kashif. Welcome to The Laugh. Thank, Thank you, Melissa. We just, we're so happy to be here today. Happy to be here. <laughs> no, we are even more excited to have you because for someone like me, who is, you know, relatively a full-on Zulu girl, born and raised in Durban, I'm a little naive, unfortunately, I hate to admit it, a little naive when it comes to the celebration of breaking the fast. And that's what you're here. You're here to help me kind of understand not only the culture behind it, but the food. Nice. Now, before we get into all of that, I just want to find out a little bit about you, Ilham, as a chef. You've been in the industry for such a long time. Where did you start with food begin? I know when you say a decade, it just makes me feel old. <laughs> but no, um, you know, my, my family is, they are, they are all foodies. So my immediate family, my extended family, I think that's just our love language. Yeah. We just love feeding people. So it kind of seemed natural that I would, you know, enter a career that involved around food in some way. Um, so, you know, I studied um, at the hotel school and then I ended up working there and I'm still there now. And it's been one of the most rewarding things um, of my life that I've done. So I, I don't know who I would be if I wasn't, you know, a teacher or a lecturer. I think there's something very special about being able to hand down that knowledge and that passion and that fire. I mean, for yourself, what is it about being married to a chef? <laughs> oh, I get to eat good food. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I was literally I mean, about like... to say it's the <laughs> biggest thing. Yeah, and also like, uh, you know, like uh, you can see, I mean, yeah, it's good food, but you can see the care and the love that she puts behind that. And, you know, like it, it you know, like it really like creates, you know, like makes that bond even stronger that, you know, someone is there making, I mean, like making that food and putting in so much love and making that yeah. food so good and so tasty. Yeah, as already uh, Ilham said, it's a love language. It goes so much be it's so good goes so much more beyond just putting something on a plate. You know, it's exactly. truly being able to connect with people through the belly. And another way that you've been able to connect is that in 2020, you entered and won the <laughs> next Boss Chef. Now, tell us a little bit about the competition. And also, girl, we're dying to find out. Have you been able to host any masterclasses on those spice mixing? Um, you know, the next Boss Chef was a wonderful experience. Um, I kind of went in there with, like zero expectations. I did not expect to win at all. Um, I was up against some amazing, talented foodies, and most of them who I follow on Instagram. So, you know, to be yeah. competing with them was actually quite nerve wracking because I look up to a lot of them um, on Instagram, um, you know, online. And because it happened in 2020, I think the competition was in Feb and then you know, the pandemic happened. Mm. And so I was, I, I had, um, I hosted one class, but I'm definitely going to be hosting more classes in the future. Um, maybe not at with Bosch, but at Maker's Landing at the waterfront. Oh, stunning. I'm looking forward to that. Definitely so much to look forward to when it does come to this couple. I mean, but before we look forward, we kind of also have to look back. In 2017, that is the beginning of what was such a spectacular baby, uh, my hungry husband. <laughs> now tell us a little bit about the business, what got you starting it, and that oh so interesting name, my hungry husband. It's so catchy. So the, the idea for the blog started just because I, th I, I used to get a lot of questions in general from people, oh, you know, you're a chef, you must be making fancy food every day when you go home because you make such fancy food at work. And I was actually like, you know, when I go home, I just want to eat like comfort food or things yeah. that are easy and quick. And I don't want to be in the kitchen the whole day. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll take maybe half an hour to prepare a meal or to make something. I still want to eat something that's really tasty and that's nice. But, you know, I don't want to be slaving away. Mm. So then the idea came about of like, oh, let me share this um, online. So naturally, you know, Instagram was the first place to go and Facebook um, where I started a page. And the name sort of came about. It was more of like a term of endearment. Endear <laughs> well, it basically the whole story is that we were going out to dinner one night and... Uh, we had think, just eaten. But I was still hungry. So, <laughs> so while walking to the car, I was like... Oh, God, I'm so hungry. And she went, 
oh yes, my hungry husband, always hungry. And I was like, mm. light bulb, that's what you should call the blog. Yeah, And, and that's like, where that came about. Yeah, and then I think I was like, yeah, why not? Because I didn't have any other name at the time and <laughs> we thought it was quite like funny. Funny, yeah. Um, you know, but he does get teased a lot about that. So I think that's... Yeah, <laughs> I was literally about to say, I think it's also so relatable. So many <laughs> South Africans must be like, we know all about it. He's all eating the whole fridge up. And as soon as I fill the fridge, he empties out the fridge. Okay. You also started something that seemed like um, it was just going to be a little part-time hobby yeah. of making pot stickers. Yeah. And then it turned into its own full-on business, headed by you, Kashif. Yeah, I mean, what... Like in the beginning of 2020, when the blog was, you know, getting recognized and stuff. So, so I was like, you know, maybe like we can come out with like some kind of tangible product that we, you know, like we can actually sell. So we had a talk and we were like, maybe we can start like a, you know, like a small side hustle mm. of like selling pot stickers, which was quite popular on our blog. So we started that from our kitchen table, right? And... Uh, it started off okay. Then in about a few weeks later, I remember we made about 1,500. Yeah, I 1500. think we spent the whole weekend, just the two of us. Just the two of us. <laughs> Full folding pot Whole, stickers. Yeah, just folding, <laughs> making pot stickers. So I was like, okay, this thing is kind of taking off. And um, like we need some help. We need but, some extra help. Yeah, we need some extra help. <laughs> then we started hiring people. And then our space got, I mean, like our place got real small for this. Yeah. Mm. Then we started looking for a proper production area. We started selling online. Then we started stocking in stores. And now, thankfully, it's, you know, like it's going well. And we're actually looking forward to coming out with new products as well. Wow. So hopefully just, you know. Keep yeah. an eye on the website. Yeah. As they say, the rest is history. history exactly. Well, if you have a good thing, you cannot stop it. And that is exactly what we're seeing with yourself, Ilham. You are currently working on a cookbook. I'm so excited about this. And that is also kind of, it preempts the show in such a lovely way and sets the tone. This book essentially focuses on the Islamic religious holiday of Eid. Now, um, can you tell us a little bit about what to expect in the book? So my book is actually, um, you know, Kashif and I were talking and we were like, when it comes to Eid and when it comes to specifically baking, you know, or making desserts or things like that, everybody is always like, you know, running around looking for recipes, not really sure of what's going to work, what's not going to work. Mm. And, you know, I, I sort of came up with this idea, okay, let me write um, sort of a beginner's guide to confectionery. So going back to basics, teaching people how to make you know, basic pastry items mm. that they can incorporate into any special occasion and eat being one of them. Okay, well, and on that note, if you want to check out the delicious pre-prepared gourmet meals packed with a smile, then go out and check them on their Instagram page at My Hungry Husband, as well as their blog, www.myhungryhusband.com. Their meals will take you on an adventure.